Thanks for downloading the trial version of SoundSoap. Before the download starts, take a few moments to learn about some of its key features. This will allow you to achieve the best possible noise reduction results. The key to using SoundSoap is knowing where to learn noise for successful broadband noise reduction on sources such as tape hiss, HVAC system noise, fans, and other similar background noises. For example, with a cassette recording, you'll more than likely have hiss in the cassette's leader before any of the program material starts. This is the ideal place to learn noise, or you might have a space between two songs or between sections of speech. SoundSoap needs at least two seconds of raw noise to be able to learn the frequencies that cause it, so be sure that the area in which you learn noise contains at least two seconds of the noise by itself. If you learn within the content you're trying to clean up, SoundSoap will remove some of the frequencies that make up that content, and your results won't sound as good as they could. If you don't have a section of noise that's at least two seconds, you can use the looping technique on a shorter area. To learn noise in loop mode, simply set SoundSoap's in and out point markers around a section of noise and enable looping. Now, when you start playback, the designated section will loop repeatedly, and when you click the Learn Noise button, SoundSoap will analyze just the looped section of audio. If you're using the plugin edition of SoundSoap, check how to enable looping in your host program and then click the Learn Noise button. Once you learn noise, use the rest of the broadband noise reduction controls to fine-tune your results. First, turn on noise-only mode, which allows you to hear what is being removed in real time before any processing is permanently applied. In noise-only mode, adjust the noise tuner knob until you hear only unwanted noise. If you hear any of the voice, music, or other desired content, then turn the noise tuner counterclockwise until you hear just the unwanted noise. Once the noise tuner is set properly, switch to on mode and adjust the noise reduction knob to the desired level. The wash window works as a visual aid. The left half displays the original audio signal, and the right half shows the signal after cleaning. Red represents noise, and blue represents the desired audio content. The following controls are not dependent on a learned noise profile. The Remove Click and Crackle slider reduces clicks and crackles such as those found in recordings of vinyl records, as well as pops from abrupt edits. Preserve Voice filters audio content above the frequency range of the human voice and helps clean up dialogue. Remove Hum filters out 50 or 60 Hz electrical hum. The setting you use depends on the electrical current in your part of the world. Remove Rumble helps filter very low frequency noise, such as turntable motor rumble, or perhaps the sound of an idling truck captured in your video. The Enhance slider may be used to adjust the tone and optimize sound quality. Now I'll quickly run through all these steps with audio playing. You can learn even more about using SoundSoap by watching the full-length tutorial in the product videos section of the BIAS website at www.bias-inc.com. Thanks for taking a moment to learn about using SoundSoap and enjoy your 14-day trial. If you have any questions, please let us know.